did come home early on. Then we went to put I don't know. And now I have I you were here. Now I have it spreads un un Switch it off and play bass. I can play bass. Yay, Ray Beth. 
I thought maybe you'd be freezing in Chicago tonight. Yeah. And, and Rosewood, my, I don't know if Rosewood's back here. I haven't heard anything. So. It's usually about now I hear. Here? Yeah. Or, yeah, no, yeah. Here. Here. We've often played an early, the late winter fundraiser here. So oh, we're oh, trying to get a tour. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I am bound before the Yes, I know. What color tonight? One. You're in the Boston. Thank you. I just didn't know. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. Stretch a little bit, lift her up, you know, back behind the beam. So do you just want me to take it out, too? Yeah. My problem is that I am And then pass pass center, and then you can go down, and then and, up, and then you, and you let use your this, you, and you let this. Yeah. So basically, what you're so doing you're is you're, you're letting that guy turn it vertical, and then it's easy, and then you back down and like that. So okay. How about you stand next to him? Oh yeah. yeah. Or if you are uneasy with this, okay. I have like a real freak out thing about next to him because yeah. no, I can't. I won't drop it. I won't drop it. I mean, it might take me a couple weeks to recover, but I'll, I won't drop it. I'll sing, I'll sing, I'll, I'll sing his own hot super fast. I'll sing super fast, so that way you only got to have it up there for a while. Right? Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, I've never had, I've never had it. Yeah, yeah. Very cool.
Spills Yard site. up there for you to read and everything. And, and I'll send you last night. kids I used to teach, you know. So welcome to Shabbat at Temple Bethel. Uh, our numbers are diminished because many of them went to freeze themselves in Chicago. I'm so glad I'm the California contingent. <laughs> so uh, the rabbi and the cantor are both there as well as I understand quite a number of other people from our synagogue and we are well represented. So welcome to the B team. <laughs> yeah. okay. You know, think substitute teacher, think per diem, think, you know, yeah. <laughs> here we are. Right, so we're going to take crayons and color and listen to soft music. Isn't that what you always did when you had a substitute in school? Do we have wine in the sanctuary? <laughs> no, nah, but we have water. Okay, so we've had a beautiful opening the gun. Thank you, that's one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. Really nice to hear it. And I would like to invite up Kathy Maher to light the candles. 
in honor of her husband's yard site. Nicely done. We are on hmm, some page here. 120? Uh, 120, 121. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with misfold, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Amen. 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 Now that we have Shabbat up and rolling, and turn to page 123 for Kadush. Please stand if you are able. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotam v'ratzavanu V'shabat kodsho v'ava uvratzon hinkilanu Zikaron l'maase b'reshit Ki hu yom t'echila l'mikra e'kodesh Zeker l'tziyad b'itzrayim Kivanu vacharta veotanu kidashta mikol hamim veshabat kochecha beava uveratzon hinkaltanu baruch atadonai mekate. Please turn to page 130 for Lachun Naranana. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to actually be whoo, mini change there. Let's find the right one, the right one for it. I know okay. it's here. Here it is. Yeah, it's on 128. Erase, erase, erase. 128. Say it again, please. 128. 128. Thank you.
Please be seated. Oh. <coughs> I believe we are on page 131 for Shir Hadash. All the verses, this particular letter. said hello to them. Some of us have been out of town. We have wonderful guests here tonight. Yeah. Yay. Yes. We have Barbara's here tonight. Yay, Barbara. 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 <laughs> she was never so please. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so we are moving to page 40, 146. Page 146. For the Baraku, please stand if you are able. Yes, if you are able. Page 148 for Ma'ariva Ravim, which is one of my favorite prayers, so I'm going to depart a little bit from what we usually do. I'd like to read it in Hebrew because we don't do that very often. I'm seeing some thumbs up here. And then we'll read it in English so that we know what we read. Okay? Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, please join me. A share be Varol Ma'ariva Ravim. Bahokma Hotea Sha'arim, Uvifana Meshane Itim, Umachalif et Hasmanim, Jeter et Hakokavim, Bemishmero Tero, Barotia Kirtsono, Bore Yom, Valila, Golel Or, Mipne Hoshek, Bahopnek Hoshek, Mipne Or, Uma of your Yom, Umevi Lila, Uma of your Bain Yom, Uvain Lila, Adonai, Siva Oak, Shemo. El Chai Vikayam Tamid Yimlok Alenu Le Alam Vaed Baruch Ata Aranai Hama Arif Arabim. Blessed are you, please join me. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Sivaot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Baruch Ata Adonai Hama Ari Aravim. Moving to page, hmm. we're moving to page 150, and I think what I'm going to do is read the one on the bottom. A lot of times we use one of the ones on the side, but I always like hearing what the Hebrew says because we don't do it all that often. So please join me in 150 on the bottom in English. Everlasting love you have offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them. For they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Ohei Amo Yisrael. Yeah, we'll be reading his story tonight. Okay, please stand for the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Top of page 157. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. On page 158. So the story has been told here many times about the Hashki Venu prayer up at Camp Newman, where the counselors spread talit over all of the campers. Um, maybe three times this size, that, that amphitheater that's in the process of getting rebuilt. And, and yeah. And, um, and Sophie was there that's the, the summer before, and she led a work team to level all the benches. I was so proud of her. She was sending me pictures secretly from her phone that she wasn't supposed to have of, <laughs> of, of all the strings she had stretched out and leveled. And the kids were just like, we, they, yeah, Sophie's my girl. And, and so every time I've ever been up there to visit her, this one always kind of tears me apart. So when I was 
picking songs for tonight, we had to do the, the camp Hashkivedo. You're totally familiar with it. I just didn't know if you were familiar with where, where it's always, always done. Hashkivedo Adonai Eloheinu Leshalom, Leshalom. Page 162 for Vishamru. set the mood for the joy of Shabbat. We've loosened up our voices a little bit, we've done a little bit of up and down. We enter in now into the prayer section of our service, into tefillah, which was, will then bring us into the Amidah. Uh, our practice here is that we read the first two of these together 
And then we have a period of silence. You can read what you want and close your eyes and think and pray whatever you would like to do. And then we will close with Shalom Rav. So that's the playlist here. So on page 165, prayer invites God's presence to suffuse our spirits, God's will to pervade in our life, prevail in our lives. Prayer may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a broken city. But prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, rebuild a weakened will. You can stand if you're able. Ta Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avotenu Veimotenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Lea Ha El Hagato Hagipur Vehanura El El Yon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekone Yaakov the <laughs> Mashiv haru al murid hagashem, mekakel chayim bechesed, mekaye hakobe rachamim rabim, so met no flim verofe holim, umatir asurim, um chaye emunato lishene afar. Mi kamo kapa al gevu rod umi do mela melek me miru mchaye umats mi akishua v'neemana talechayot hako barukata Adonai mechaye hako ata kadosh b'shem kadosh. Uktoshim bekoyom vehaleluka sela arukata Adonai ha'el ha'kayadosh. You are holy. Your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Baruch ata Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. So this is our period of silent prayer when you're ready to sit and be at your choice.
page 178. Shalom Rahab Yisrael Amcha Tassim. in my favorite part. The reason I became a rabbi is I fell in love with Torah. So, hey, here we are today. Uh, I would like to, I'm making a request because uh, my friend Doug, don't look shell shot. Okay. Uh, would you be able to be a rabbi for me? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, pardon me for that little side over to a piece of business here. Okay, so we are beginning our Torah service on page 362. And we have, hooray, the muscle on the bima. <laughs> That's only because Grant is playing. He can't do both at the same time, you know, it's hard. We only have one set of of arms. Yeah, I only have one. Okay. It's born that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are on page 362. There is none like you among the gods, Adonai, and there are no deeds like yours. Hit it, Grant. Okay, will we please stand up if you are able? In Kamoka by Elohim Adonai. Ben kemasecha malchut ka kumkut kol holamim umen shatecha bechol dor va dor Adonai melech Adonai malak Adonai imlok leolam vayet Adonai os leamo yiten Adonai yivarek. Shalom. Tivnecha, 
Tatnu Melekeram Venisa Aton Olamim Kimitzion Tetze Torah Kimitzion Tetze Torah Udevar Adonai Mirushalai Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonai Kadoshema Gadol Adonai Uti Unerohima Shemo Yaktav Lecha Adonai Hagivura Veati Fesa Veanitha Veaho Ki Kol Bashamai Muba Retz Ki Kol Bashamai Muba Retz Lecha Adonai Hamam Lacha Veanit Nase Lekol Amen. 
This is the B team. Are we doing Misha Barak here? Either way you wish. Service? I like doing it here while the Torah is still out. So we're going to roll it up and cover it with the. You'll bring it? This is a, new, a new order here at TV. So there is a. I usually. And, it, and my preference is that we say Misha Barak while the Torah is still out so that we have the energy and the honor of the Torah being out. So we just put this over here so we're not leaving the poor thing uncovered. Okay, and I would like to ask if anyone has anyone, if 
Anyone has anyone? Uh, it's movement or remembrance for healing, for healing of mind, for healing the body, for healing of soul or of relationships. This can be anyone you know, anyone you're thinking of, and including yourself. So if you would like to share the name with us, Faith. Bezot Torah,
learn something new every day. I think it's a teacher's motto. Please join me on page 375 at the bottom. When Torah entered the world, freedom entered it. The whole Torah exists only to establish peace. Its highest teaching is love and kindness. What is hateful to you, do not do to any other person. That is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. Go and learn it. Those who study Torah are the true guardians of civilization, honoring one another, doing acts of kindness, and making peace. These are our highest duties. But the study of Torah is equal to them all because it leads to them all. Let us learn in order to teach, or let us learn in order to do. It's Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. It's, it is my pleasure to be here tonight and represent the Board of Directors. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Rabbi Catherine Mummert and Grant Perry, first of all, for leading us so well and so beautifully in worship tonight. And a special thank you to uh, our sisterhood for hosting our lovely Onig Shabbat this evening. <coughs> thank you, Barbara. Uh, if you're new to the congregation tonight, I'd like to welcome you to Temple Bethel. And uh, please stay for our Onik Shabbat immediately following our services so that uh, Rabbi Mummert, Grant Perry, myself, and other members of our leadership team can say hello uh, and join you in some cookies. Uh, please make sure to get your reservations in for an annual Hanukkah latke party. It takes place on Sunday, December 22nd, beginning at 5.30 p.m. The reservation deadline is this Monday. Uh, reservations with payments are required uh, to Sharon Gross, this event will sell out, so please uh, don't wait. And please join us back here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for the, our lay led service. Um, all are welcome to join us for this special Shabbat morning service. And finally, please join us <clears throat> for the first Religious Living Committee meeting, which is next Tuesday at 7 p.m. here at Temple Bethel. This is the first meeting to reestablish this important committee. Uh, which supports Rabbi Kale and Kenner Davidson in a variety of different ways. Everyone is welcome to join, and if you have any questions, please see our Vice President of Member Engagement, Linda Rubin, who's at the back of the synagogue, um, if you have any questions in the after services. Thank you so much, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. And thank you. And, huh. See, I have a cheat sheet, you know, this is the order of things, and the one thing that's not on there is the Devar Torah. <laughs> so, if you're, I was sitting here saying, what is wrong with this picture? <coughs> so this is the Devar Torah. Okay. We'll pretend we're still thinking about the Torah portion, and I called this one, Wrestling With Whom? Who is really being wrestled with? So this story that we've heard, where Jacob, he's sitting there, he's left his family on the other side, he's, he sent gifts ahead of him, 
to his older brother, you know, the one who wanted to kill him, that older brother. So I already set everything out. There's a river here. There's all four of the mothers of his many children are over on the other side. They know their marching order of who's going to show up when. That is assuming that Esau and Jacob get along well when they meet, because only after that would he bring in his wives or his mothers of his children and have them meet him. So while he's sitting there at night, he has this very complex thing happen to him. And uh, what I'm going to talk a little bit about is how would you feel if you were him? I mean, you haven't seen this brother in a long time, and it was not a peaceful time that you left. So while he's there, probably trying to sleep and gather his energy, he has, there is an ish. Ish means man. Something comes down and wrestles with him. And they wrestle back and forth. And finally, the ish, the man, the angel, the whoever or whatever this being is, says, wait a minute, morning is coming. I've already dislocated your hip. We're still struggling. But in the morning, it is shachrit, and I need to say the morning services, so please let me go. And as we know, Jacob says, no, I'm not going to let you go till you bless me. Okay? And, he's, and so the other, and you notice you don't know who is he. Which he are we talking about? There are so, he is just repeated and repeated in here. So he says, well, what is your name? And Jacob says, Jacob. And I'm saying this kind of like, yeah, Jacob, you know, we've been wrestling for hours here at this point. And he says, your name's no longer going to be Jacob, but Israel, for you strove, you've striven with human and divine, and you prevailed. And Jacob says, okay, so tell me your name. And he says, uh-uh, you can't ask my name. And he blesses him and he leaves. Done, gone. So it's, the story is kind of complicated, especially when you look at it in English. There's he, 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 it just repeats. And you're like, which he is this? Which one is talking? And so I said, really? Either one of them could be acting or speaking any part of it. So Jacob had prepared for the arrival of Esau. He sent, he sent his gifts. He's moved his wives. He's moved his children. He separated himself. He's alone. And he thinks he's going to sleep, but no. The Ish, who's never named, appears. But Jacob does not give up, even though his hip is dislocated. So who is this person? Who is he? Some say he's an angel, although he never says so. Some say he's a messenger of God. But there again, there really is no evidence of that. This is just a big fight. Some say he was Esau's own angel. So this is a, a tradition thinking that we all, each of us has an angel. And sometimes that angel fights for us. And a lot of people have written about that, and they say that he was wrestling with Jacob to protect Esau. Okay, the text says it's he so many times that we don't know what's happening. So he says, you know, and so why is this guy being renamed? Why is Jacob renamed? Israel means he who wrestles with God. So that's Elohim. If you see, if we look at the Hebrew for this, it says he rescued, struggled with Elohim. And at the very beginning of Torah, we have it is uh, Breshit bara Elohim. Elohim created the world. Elohim gives structure. Elohim has rules, and you obey the rules. It is the Gevura side of God. It's the side of us as parents when we set limits for our children. We love them to pieces, but there are things they need to learn, right? We've all been there, or we've known children, and we've been there in that way. It is not Adonai, the God of gentleness, the God of kindness. So we have Elohim, the rule giver, talking to him. 
And by the way, this whoever this is names Jacob, but somehow renames Jacob, and God shows up a second time, a little bit later, after the story of Dina, which we're not going to talk about today, but it immediately follows this renaming. So when God shows up again, he renames Jacob again, and he renames him again as Israel. <coughs> and interestingly enough, God at that point calls himself El Shaddai. El Shaddai can mean Almighty God. It can mean the God of the mountain. It can mean the God of the breast, the nurturer, the God who promises innumerable progeny, the forever present. So this year, when reading these verses, I realized, I'm like, why are we reading these all the time? I always ask this. It's kind of what brought me to being a rabbi. But I realized that maybe the he with whom Jacob wrestled was Jacob himself. You know when you wrestle with yourself? You've decided you're going to do something and you get in your own way. You've decided you're going to do something and you procrastinate. You've decided you're going to do something, but ice cream looks a lot better. You know, shopping looks a lot better. A lot of things look a lot better. And so you wrestle with yourself as you get closer and closer to whatever it is you're supposed to do. And you are really, if you think of it, you're wrestling with your own self. There's your good side, the tove side, and there's the low tove side. That's the temptation. And when we, we are taught that when babies are born, it is we both have the aspects of low tove, not so good, and tove, really good, inside of us. And that's what we as parents and as grandparents and friends and teachers, however we know children, deal with the children is we need to teach them both. We're also taught that low tove is the survival instincts. Low tove is the acting right off the top. So when we were wandering around, you know, living in caves, you had to immediately respond to things. You don't think, you react. And on the other hand, tov is a more nuanced thing. And we are told that tov really matures to equal low tov at the time of a bar bat mitzvah, that it takes 13, 12, or 13 years to move to that side. So we are always struggling within ourselves. And there's apparently scientific evidence that says that when you think negative thoughts or positive thoughts, how many of you think you think more positive thoughts in a day? How many of you think you have more negative thoughts in a day? That is actually true. And it is, again, because the negativity is the things that we, that we develop to immediately survive. And that it takes a lot to overcome them and work with that side that does what we're supposed to do. On time, every time, or at least most of the time. All right? <coughs> so right after being named Ish, nope, we don't want to do that. So when does life most often force us to take a close look at ourselves? Well, in times of change, right? Things have especially changed when things have gone south. When you start something new in your life, might be a new relationship, a new job, a move to a new city, whatever it is. That's when we really look at ourselves, and especially if it's a change that we did not initiate. And maybe we don't want at all, but yet, there it is. So Jacob is at a pivotal point. He's chosen to leave Laban, taking all those mothers and children and sons, including the 12th son who has not yet been born, that is going to be Benjamin. He had to wrestle with himself. Do I stay, do I go? Do I seek my brother, do I avoid my brother? Do I prepare for battle, do I come in peace? Am I gonna be accepted? Am I gonna be rejected? Am I gonna be welcomed? Or am I gonna be attacked? Maybe he thought about his parents. Maybe he remembered his family. Have you ever had a similar situation where you're going to meet somebody in your family you haven't seen for a long time and the last time was not really great? He has all of those things happening. 
So if we look at this in terms of wrestling with ourselves and the desire to improve ourselves set against our old tried and true ways, how might these verses read instead of the way we read them? What might be a different way to look at it for myself? Well, here I am. I'm alone. Here in this place to which I have brought myself, tired, apprehensive, worried about meeting my family and others from my past and new people, and I'm worried about my family's safety. These are known problems for which I provided, but now there are new unknown challenges. My mind churns from possibility to possibility, and sleep eludes me. Suddenly, a new idea emerges and captures my attention. Back and forth, back and forth, my mind wrestles. The urge to remain my known self grapples with my urgent need to change. Can I become a more spiritual or compassionate or loving person? Less self-centered? What do I have to change, give up, refine from negative to positive? The known contends with the unknown, with ambiguity. I am exhausted by this challenge, but it does not disappear. Instead, as daylight approaches, I must come to a resolution. Change is inevitable. I must reach a conclusion. I must act. To fortify myself, a monomic comes to mind, a new idea. Thank God. It relaxes me when I think of something that is going to provide a touch point to remind me of my resolution when I'm tempted to give up and return to the habits that I said I would change, kind of like New Year's resolutions. A new name will instantly recall this. A name, a night that I must earn. Using it will be an honor that I use to recognize growth and change and fortify myself for new change. What shall it be? And you will remember that even at both times that God changes Jacob's name to Israel, he continues to be called Jacob. Almost every time he's mentioned, even after that, even after God has said, uh -uh, Jacob's not your name, Israel is your name now. So if we see that as him moving back and forth from things that are not so good to things that are really good. In the end, literally in the end, after he has died, it is Israel who is prepared for burial. So what name will remind me, remind you, remind us of our own resolutions? Maybe a name of a story will inspire us and encourage us. Miriam, a quality that I'm nursing. Maybe I want to remember God as Tzuri, my rock. We are the children of Israel, the descendants of the man who strove with beings divine and human and prevailed. Our company, our country is Israel. May we, may Israel continue to strive and to prevail. Kenya Hirat Son, may it be God's will. Amen. Okay. A beautiful, our wonderful board member has always already given us our announcements. Uh, we're ready for Elena, I think. Yes, let's begin our concluding prayers. On page prayers. 586. Please rise if you are able. <clears throat> page 586. Aleinu le shabbat adon hakol, la tet kidula le tsebreshi, shelo asanu kegoye haratzot, velo samanu kimishpakot adama, shelo sam kalkenu kayem, Begoraleinu kekol hamonam, va'anaknu korim, u'mishtakavim u'modim, lifne melek malke hamlakim, hakadosh baruchu, v'neemar v'haya Adonai lemelek al kol ha'aretz v'yom ha'hu. Bayom ha'hu, yie Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. Please be 
be seated. I'm reading on page 594, and then we'll proceed to Cottage. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch, a fearful thing to love, hope, dream, to be, to be an O, to lose. A thing for fools, this, and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, your laugh once lifted me, your word was gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy. Tis a human thing, love, a holy thing, to love what death has touched. This week, we are remembering Dorothy Seidler, who died on the 9th. We are also remembering Harry Allman, Blanche Belzer, David Bernstein, Elizabeth Bernstein, Rose Bitkoff Rogoff, Samuel Herman Blakely, Florence Brown, John Valentine Brown, Minnie Brown, Waller Brown, Roberta Cohen, Isidore Cohn, Henry Corby, David Estock, Samuel Feingold, Leonard Fishman, Bella Frank, Elaine Franz, Gerald Gerber, Rosalind Gerber, Bernard Glass, MD, Herman Goldberg, Rose Goldstein, Ira Lester uh, Grishaver, Florence Hebert, Max Hochman, Lillian Hubert, Joseph Kaufman, Sidney Keschner, Herbert Klotz, Ann Jean Kramer, Max Lauer, Jesse Lieberman, Jacob Wolf Lipson Holtz, James Mahar, Alma Martin, Benjamin Millman, Rebecca Millman, Sybil Morris, Flory Ornstein, Midge Perry, Sam Prince, Jean Profanato, Isidore Rosenblatt, Rose Rubin, Milford Sofer, Alex Strauss, Adrian Vinitz, Nathan Weiner, Bernice Wintraub. Are there any names that? Rory Lundy and Chase Curry. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Please stand for Kaddish. Remember people, pray for people who have no one to pray for them. People who died during the Holocaust, people who have died since then who have no surviving family. And we join together in Mourner's Kaddish on page 598. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Shemay Rabbah. Yahesh <laughs> La Ela mean called Birkata, Shirkata, Tushakata, Venekamata, Da Amira, the Alma, the Ru Amin, Yehesh La Maraba, mean Shemaya, the Chayim, Aleno, the Ako, Israel, the Ru Amin, O Se Shalom, the Roma, who is Se Shalom, Aleno, the Ako, Israel, the Ru Amin. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, Amen. Shalom, Yah, say Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.